evening sports fans so tonight we're gonna go over the s blah, the s w f well let's try that in proper english the w s j t x version one point eight point oh uh software ha huh, it's been a night let me tell you so we're gonna go over the t x macros um get a lot of questions about those how do they work what do you do what can you write la 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 um you can write up to thirteen characters um they are normally down here in the free message. Um, you go in here to the file, go into settings, go into TX macros. We'll go over the other stuff later here. And here you go. So I have a few already put in here. Um, as you can see, let's just go ahead and type another one in here. Say, say what? We'll go ahead and add it. And. I'm not going to actually put leave that one in there, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to delete it. To delete it, same thing, just highlight the one you want. We're going to delete, say what, and delete it. And we're going to hit OK. Okay. Now you're wondering, where the heck did everything go? Remember that free message I was talking about a couple seconds ago? That's where exactly it is. So we we'll hit the drop-down menu. After hitting the drop-down menu, you'll see all these lovely macros that you've made. We're going to go with the no decode detected. Okay. Now, once I press the enable text, it will send this through. You're going to hear a little tone. I'll make sure to halt it so it's not blaring through your ears. But um, it, that's if you want to send your TX macro. So we're going to go ahead and hit it. And we're going to wait for the computer. Okay, halt it. Stop it. Nothing's hooked up right now to the um, radios. Or I should say the radio is not turned on, but we can run the program. So as you see here, you have the time. You have the frequency and you have the message. No decode detected. Now again, you have up to 13 characters. So let's say, well, what does more than 13 characters look like? What does more than 13 look like? We're going to go ahead and send it. I'm going to show you exactly what it shows like to everybody else and to you when you try to send something that has more than 13 characters. Well, there you go. All you get is what does m what is m <laughs> don't go over 13 characters nobody likes that nobody can understand what you're trying to say either um, I don't encourage sending anything like that um, I have seen other hams send the no code detected um, I have seen some send too much QRM um, 73 good night uh, stuff like that customize it the way you want it you know but be professional guys we are ham radio operators and we're we're all in this together, okay? So let's go over a few other things with this program. Love it, by the way, so far. I've done a lot with it. We'll go over the modes real quick. Um, I've been using FT8 a lot. Uh, that came out in the summer, and uh, it is one of the fastest modes that I have found. Um, total transmission time is, uh, what, 13 seconds, and you have two seconds to decode. Um, there's JT4. I don't really use that. JT9, eh, sometimes. I use the JT9, JT65 uh, quite frequently, but not as much as I've used the FT8. Uh, I've used that a lot more this summer and now going into fall. You have JT65, the QRA64, the IS cap, MSK144, Whisper, Echo, and Frequency Cal. Um, real quick, my decode, I have it for deep. I'm running Windows 10, I'm running a newer computer. The reason I have it for deep, um, I can uh, pick up those signals that are very faint or not even there on the graph, but it will pick them up. Um, I did have it on normal when I was running on my laptop, but that's because I was on the laptop. Uh, we'll go over the settings in here. Uh, general, my call sign, Kilo Echo 7, Foxtrot Echo India. My grids, Delta Mike 4.3. You can find that information out on QRZ.com. Uh, for the longest time, I did not know what my grid square was, and shame on me, I should have, but it's Delta Mike 4.3. Um, I have the display and distance in miles, so when I see a call sign over here that I don't know, I click on it, and down here, it'll show me how far away it is. Um, so there's that. My radio, you can hook, this, hook up this software to your rig with a rig control and interface system. I don't do that. The only thing I can use is the interface to transmit the signal. Um, I don't control the radio from this software. I do everything manual, but you can 
it is very simple to do. Um, I say it's simple, but um, sometimes you have any problems. Um, my audio, you'll see the interface. Right now I have my headset and my microphone hooked up, but normally it would be the interface that's hooked up there. Macros, we know the reporting. Uh, if you want, you can have this uh, set up to deliver to EQSL or the logging software um, that you choose to. Frequencies, I don't touch colors. I am partially colorblind, so <laughs> uh, green, brown, yellow, and I don't know. Uh, this is probably red, but I messed with this once. I couldn't see anything afterwards. I set it back to the default. I'm not touching it. And advanced, I really don't touch as well. But uh, overall, great software. Um, it works the way I need it to. It does what I need it to. If you guys have any comments or questions about that, uh, my rig that I'm using, I'm using a Yezu FT450. And like I said, I am using an interface. And the current interface that I am running is the um, XCOMS uh, interface. And uh, it runs everything, like I said. It also has a section in there to where you can operate the radio from the computer. But I choose not to do that. So other than that, guys, have a wonderful evening. Like I said, any comments, questions, concerns, put them down in the comments section below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. All right, guys, thanks for watching.